Hi, everybody. Okay, I wanted to go into a little bit more about ControlNet. Um, ControlNet is the uh, is your ability to control the image that you input in the image-to-image -image, um, function or the image-to-image -image feature in Leonardo and how, how much of it you want to appear in the rendering. Now, in this case, I've come up with, this is one of my, um, my sketches. And as I said, you need to have the sketch, have what you are drawing be incredibly contrasted with the background. So it's got, really got to stand out. So what I have here is, um, from a previous video, I wanted to actually show you how the control net works. Now, to be fair, we don't have very much. Leonardo does not share very much as far as the functionality. They kind of, they seem to let us go in and figure stuff out for ourselves, which can be good, it can be bad. I think of it as a great, as a great opportunity. So what, let's go ahead and take a look at the control net for this particular image. Um, so for this one, I do tend to put in the as per image because I wanted to make sure it points to that. Uh, so we're going to go with, um, like ultra detailed drawing MC Escher. If you haven't checked out MC Escher stuff, he's um, he's an Escher and which Escher and it I love his work. MC Escher style. Alright, so let's take a look and see how this works out. So with the guidance scale I kept it at eight. And I wanna note I want you to know something. Whenever I uploaded the the image the aspect ratio is three to four. Whenever you're working with image to image, you want to make sure that you keep the aspect ratio as close to uh, that that image ratio that you uploaded as possible. In this case, since I'm using, I think I'm using, yeah, I'm using Deliberate 1.1 and I can actually manipulate and say 640, 640, 832 is, uh, I believe, a three to four, 640. And 842 is an aspect ratio of 3 to 4. So I'm basically just kind of scaling it down. Um, I'm not really converting it to 1.1. Because you find that whenever you do something that is a 3.4 and you try to do it like to a 1.1, it really gets incredibly unpredictable. Alright, so let's go through Control Net. Control Net has three different features. You have the edge to image, post to image, and depth to image. So let's go through edge to image. Edge to image should give you exactly um, the sketch that you put in. So let's go ahead and do the control weight. Again, between 0.7 and 0.9 um, is the ideal ratio. Anything outside of that, it just starts to unravel. And sometimes you may want that to unravel. But in this case, I want to keep it uh, keep the integrity as much as possible. So access that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this comes up with. Okay, so what we're seeing here is that it, uh, you know, it's, it's showing us the actual sketch. It looks pretty good. MCS is a black and white sketch art, so that's why I use that that reference. And it is coming up with just a, a pretty good rendering of what we have put in. So we can go ahead, if we like what we see, we can try it, you know, in like another, let's try it in another, uh, let's go RPG. And again, make sure that you're dealing with an aspect ratio of three to four. So I'm going to put it at 640 because that is what the model renders at ideally. That's what you should put it in. So it's a three to four. Let's go ahead and try, whenever you change the model, make sure you change the, um, the width and height of pixelation. Pass. Right. So it's giving us a little bit more, um, work that we can, something that we can work with, but it definitely looks like a regular sketch. Now, when we go into post image, now this is where you, you give Leonardo a little bit of leeway. Ideally, what you would want to do is you probably want to get one of these that you kind of like, and you would switch it into the image to image using this icon right here. You basically roll the image, and then you go post to image and then play around with it. But Leonardo, with, with post to image, it kind of picks the idea of what you wanted. 
and brings that idea to the forefront, not necessarily with the detail of the uh, of what you of what you put in. So it kind of takes the idea and just plays around with it. So let's go ahead and let me show you what I mean by that. See, it really does go in and, and gives you more detail of the background without really bringing into the any bringing in any detail of what you had initially put in. So, if you wanted something that was, um, as I said, MC Escher is a very specific thing, but if you wanted something um, that could work with this, and you wanted this, then you can go ahead and you can play around with this a little bit more. But personally, whenever I'm doing anything, I kind of like to stick with the etched image or the next one I'm going to show you and this is great for logos by the way the depth image um, is fantastic for logos and let me show you why still keeping with the RPG4 fine tuned model and the aspect ratio of 640-832 if you look at it it does have a bit of an embossed look to it. I actually accidentally clicked on the generate again, so that's what happened. It has a very embossed look for it. So if if so if you are interested in doing a logo that has a 3D effect, then the depth to image is what you want. Look at it right here. Let's take a look at it. Wait, come, let's compare it to the initial. So this is what we have here. This is the um, edge to image. And you can see it's just a very nice old flat. It's a very nice old flat image. But with this one, these guys here, it has a very embossed look. So this is your way of really adding that feature to your image to make it stand out a little bit more. So once you've gotten the image that you like, again, you can re-roll it and go through and play around with the, um, the colors, more of the style, add more of a background. Um, and, you know, with the control net and doing your your own sketch to create something, it does actually humanizes the process. You are putting your personal stamp on an AI drawing, AI rendering. And I think that's pretty cool. So go ahead, play around with it, come up with, with, come up with any kind of sketch you want, play around with it uh, for your logo or, you know, for your avatar even. And play around it and see which one you like and that you can work with. All right, so see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share.